What were some early skills that you learned to perfect to get you on a road to working for yourself 100%, leaving Olive Garden and, and uh, Darden restaurants and leaving Red Lobster? What were some areas of practicality of skills that you learned how to master to get you to start equaling and exceeding your full-time income on a part-time basis starting a business that compounded to 100,000 to a million dollars a year? So if you look at any business, they all have hours of operation, right? Every restaurant yeah. we go to, every barber shop, um, churches, you know, nine o'clock, 11 o'clock, they have hours of operation. So we did a meeting the other day with some of my up and coming entrepreneurs. And I said, hey guys, what's your hours of operation? And this, these, are, these are guys in our base, you <laughs> yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. And they're like, uh, you know, I don't have any, you know, I just work when I, when I can, <laughs> you know, I show up when I can. And if you only do things when you can, you're not, you're never gonna be successful, yeah. you know? Um, so, so I had to cr start creating a schedule for myself on a part-time basis. If I wasn't at uh, school, if I wasn't at the restaurant, that uh, I was gonna be in the office. And that really required a discipline to have a second shift in the day. You know, you'd finish nine to five uh, at school and work and this, and then 5.30, six o'clock till 10 or 11. And at one point you're really, you are burning the candle on both ends so that you can get out of that situation faster. Yep. And when you don't do the things that you need to do, you don't avoid the pressure, you delay the pressure. So now you're putting that pain and that work into the future and making it harder uh, on the future version of you. So I think I think one was starting to create uh, a, a schedule. And then two um, was creating a reward punishment system. It's easy to just go through the day and be like, oh, I'll get it tomorrow. Oh, I'll work on it next week. Oh, it's, it's okay, we'll get it done this month. You keep extending the, 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 the deadline. Right, and as long as you keep extending the deadline, you never you never hit the goal. It's like a snooze button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, yeah. a little bit more time, yeah. a little bit more time. And so I start creating a, a reward punishment system for myself because my job had one. Right, when when you have a job, if you don't do the job, your punishment system is you're fired. Yeah. Your reward system is you get a paycheck. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Right, and in business, it's the same thing. You yeah. don't have a, a system you don't perform, you're fired, and you're gonna go build somebody else's dream because you don't have the discipline to build your own. You're gonna need somebody to manage you, and I just didn't wanna do that. I remembered what that felt like, not being in control of any aspect of my life. Yeah. So, uh, learning how to create a reward punishment system. And then number three, the last one I would say, is not using faith or family or health as a reason not to perform, you know? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna miss a meeting, something's going on, and Pat would ask me a question. Hey, so if you were running your own business and you are running a restaurant, would you, would you be closed today because of that? No. Would you have still opened up? Yes. But what if you have somebody in the hospital? Would you just say, ah, restaurant closed, hotel closed, office closed? No, you'd still have to do that. And that's the hard part, is when we first hear that from somebody, maybe a consultant or friend or mentor or a book we're reading, we think that person is so freaking care they don't care they're just they're just cold-hearted they don't understand my situation until you realize that that person had to overcome those same things in order to be successful and they're trying to help you break through and typically where you're making the most excuses you have the most opportunity and um and i had to change the way i looked at this person as no man they don't care versus they're such a great example of what's possible if i don't use those things as an excuse in my life birthdays yeah. holidays and Pat would always say, "Look at, look at the, look at. Are they playing the Super Bowl today? Hey, it's Christmas. Yeah. Guess where everybody's, guess where everybody's watching? Yeah. They're watching the game. Yeah. Those professional athletes, those actors, those soldiers that we admire, people like yourself that served in the military. They don't, they don't live the same life that everybody else does. They have a higher standard in their life, and it's hard to do that. But if you're willing to do that, that the, uh, the, the quote is, if you're willing to live a year, a few years of your life." like most people won't, you can live the rest of your life like most people can't. I love you it, know, that, that, is, that is the truth. And we're, we're getting the, like you said, fruits, we're getting the fruits of those sacrifices yeah. that we made early on without seeing those, the reward early on. Yep, yep, a lot of delayed gratification. Seems like you say that because I'm thinking about these athletes, but also the concession people are working, the security people are working, the cops are working, a lot of people are working too as well. So yeah, you're right, absolutely. So if you like that clip, please watch this one right here. If you want to see the full podcast, Click right here.